What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Energy Healing Tarot. Ooh, one, two, three. Let's take your Empress Jim here to drop some jewels and love. Libra, you guys are up. Happy birthday as well as we get ready to close out the month of September. You guys are rolling in with your season. But yes, guys, this will be for Libra, Summer Rising, and Venus, and you cross watchers because we know y'all come through for the love readings. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general message, so it can't resonate with everyone. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. In any event, support your girl. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel before you head out. Hit that bell button so you know when these videos drop. Leave a comment below if you feel so to do so. If you're on any of those social media platforms, go ahead and follow me on over there. You'll get updates in regards to everything. Twitter is your best place. If you're looking for a personal or the link to the website, my in the energy, all that information is listed in the description box below. So, yeah, I was busy telling Virgo he was doing a 10 card spread. I so lied, okay? It ended up being 15 card. And I said it like twice, and I knew what spread I was doing. So, Spare knew I was going with it, but I don't know. It was the end in their case, so I guess that's why I kept saying 10. But, um, yeah, so Libra, like I was saying... I feel like I'm talking to Libras with a family dynamic. Um, yeah, I definitely am. This is somebody want their family back. This person who's coming back in, they want their family back. Okay. That is pretty much the storyline. Or whoever it is, they want that old thing back, that good old thing back. You had something for them, Libra, that day. That they missing, they hurting. Okay. Only you could do it. They done went out, done seen that the grass ain't greener, okay? Can't nobody do it like you, all right? And there is some man who is, like, begging and crying and pleading for his family back. All right, so we're going to do this a little different. We're going to start off with our higher love soul links. We're going to end with our love oracles, okay? So, guys, you got prepare for change. Virgo had this, too, as a card that came out, so it could be done with a Virgo, but... Let's see what your message I Libra summarizing a Venus and a cross watcher. September 2020. Let me get that, guys. Okay, so you got new opportunities for a lasting love with happiness. So, I mean, if, if it's an old thing that's come back that you done already burnt that bridge up, yeah, just let it go because whatever you got new that's coming in is way, way more worth than than what this is, okay? But, you know, if that maybe that person that came back and changed, it could be a brand new opportunity to have something that is more lasting and worthy, and, you know, that will bring you true happiness. This person probably went out and did some soul searching and now know how to come back and satisfy you. And your other card is limitations. So, like, you know your limits, they know your limits, they know not to mess with you and push you around or try to screw you over, Libra, okay? You is justice, baby. Moderation and self-control. All right. Take it slow with this. Even if it is a return of person who has changed, take your time. Go slow with this. Know your limits. Set your boundaries. Okay. If it is a brand new person, don't treat this like you treat all the other old relationships. Okay. Know your limits. Set your boundaries. Okay. Do not flock over this person. Don't interrogate them with the 2,500 questions, you know, on their life. Like, just go with the flow. And let it be good, okay? So your message, start reclaiming who you truly are, okay? See the light at the end of the tunnel here, all right? You will get there. See, it's so pretty along the way. That's what I'm saying. Take your time. You don't got to be trying to rush this person and scan them off, okay? Especially if it's a new love. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. Be yourself. Express yourself. Be who you are. But... I'm just, I just keep hearing, don't interrogate them. Don't scare them off with all the questions and trying to control them, limit them, okay? Let people be who they need to be so they can show you who they truly are. So that way down the line, you're not being disappointed, like, from people of your past. Because I feel like um, I'm picking this up strong for some of you. You set these expectations and, you know, you had these standards, you know, that these people heard of. When they met you and they tried to live up to them and when they couldn't anymore, 
it let you down. Like you limited these people from being who they truly needed to be. So allow folks to be who they are, okay? And you practice self-control because you can't, you can't change folks, okay? And you don't want somebody who's going to come in and not be them true selves so that they can win you over and then you get upset when they're not who they need to be. Like my shirts say, let them be them, you know, and you be you, you let them be them, okay? Perfect show for you guys. So, 15 cards spread, right? First roll out, guys, we got 10 of cups. What I say, a family dynamic. One could be over, like I said, okay? And the guy, the father could be coming back, you know, if I'm talking to the, per the woman or whatever, he wants his family back. He's changed. He knows that you are the true happiness, you are the true ray of sunshine, you are the rainbow. There ain't no other pot of gold. You are the pot of gold here. Yes, nine of cups. You make this person happy or this person could have been out drinking like crazy. Yep. Seven of swords energy right in the middle. This person was very deceptive, this energy here. They were very, very deceptive, okay? Will of fortune, fixed energy. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, they realized while they was out here being sneaky and lying, they was running away from their good fortune. You were their good fortune. You were their dime piece. They're everything. I feel like they ran off into a situation th thinking that they was running off into something good. And it caused them to probably do some heavy indulging, you know, a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking. They thought they were happy, but then they realized, like I said, I miss my family. I want my family. I'm up here being deceptive. I made a, a choice to play all these mind games and run up out of here, feel me? Because they made the choice. It was a bad choice. But I'm about to go and play all these mind games. I'm about to run up out of here with these mind games to so what I think is about to make me happy and look back at this will of fortune that I've left behind, which actually on the other side of the will was the Ace of Pentacles, something beautiful, something new. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles here. That is definitely your energy strong I'm picking up right there, Libra. Because you was doing your thing. You're happy regardless. You're stable. Your kids are happy if you're a parent. You know? Your family's good. You ain't hurting for nothing. You ain't banging for nothing. You ain't worried about this person. Yeah. You try to offer them stability, something, you know, of same mind. Despite what they were doing, you were still willing to work with them. But they were just out here busy being deceptive. Yeah. They just, they decided they took your pinnacle. That's what I'm seeing here. They was taking your money. And it was offering it to third-party situations. Virgo energy here. I feel like this person is very much ashamed, and they see what they were doing now in the past. Like, damn, I was doing that, and you still stood there. You were still strong no matter what, feel me? Yup, page of pentacles. This person was breadcrumbing you, handing you the bare minimum while they was offering all your Bitcoin to the next chick. Now they stressed out and worried. Stressed out and worried from all the deceptive bullshit that they was doing how they knew they was sneaking around they was giving why they like oh yeah i'm taking from her at the end of the day it's like they're finally realizing that i was taken from myself i should have limited myself i was taken from myself here yep they knew it was wrong truth and clarity came out from that to go from that nine to that ten truth and clarity came out they realized they were wrong they realized yep <laughs> ten of swords underneath that will of fortune right there that's two tens they knew that they messed up their their luck they gave themselves bad luck. They fucked up their fortune. Yup, four of cups here. With this ace of wands. They didn't want really what you had to offer. Making you feel like you were no good. Making you, and you knew to turn down their cup essentially too. Because you knew that they was offering you bare minimum. You knew that they was out there sharing, community. I'm hearing community dick. You knew they was out here with the community dick. And I'm seeing here that this person could have contracted something possibly too while they was out here messing around. That's why they was a little worried too. And they knew they had to cut that out because, you know, I feel like for them it could have been like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, it was just, you know, maybe chlamydia. But it's like next time it could be worse, you know. And that probably scared this person as well. Let's see. They going to come in, like I said, come in begging. Somebody coming back begging again. They sorry. I mean, coming in with all this this force, though, and this action here. They're going to try to come in being more passionate. You just stand your guard. I'm giving you the next three. Yeah, four of swords, six of swords, and a page of wands. Yeah, you lay this to rest when they come through. You just move forward when they come in because they just want to come in. And again, so their mindset still isn't in the right. They're still not in the right mind. 
And I feel like this person probably do got um, good, passionate love. But you got to have some self-control here and start reclaiming who you are. Because you have new love that, that can come in that's way better than this, okay? Because this Ace of Pentacles is also your Ace of Pentacles here. As your fate, yeah, look at this third-party energy here. Just let this be about the money. Let it be about the kids. You don't got time for this petty thing. This person's only coming back and cycling back into your life because they're broke. They need some money. You have a new opportunity here for something that's more loving, more abundant here for you, okay? Yeah, because this person knows they were wrong. And they only come in and to bring you a passionate offer. Like, they just want to bring in passionate. But, I mean, the only emotion is the fact that you know that they emotionally... It, <laughs> they, yeah, they they trying to come in with this emotion now. And it's bothering me and it's taking me off because I feel like this is your energy. Like, when they come back and they talk to you because you know they're full of shit to some degree. It's like, for how long will this work until you want money again? Okay, or till when it's about money again? But to give you guys some signs, you do got um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius out here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, strong, and Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. Heavy Gemini energy with this uh, nine and ten of swords. So, yeah, that is what that is. That is what that is. Let's get you guys your love oracles here. Healing family issues, what I say. Some guy coming back. Or oh, shoot, it could even be a woman. There's women who get up and leave their kids behind too for some dick. Let's get this one here. Boom. <laughs> what I say, they was broke, right? Finances and careers, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They're only coming back in because you're still together. You're financially stable. They need hobosexual. You got a hobo sexual who you also happen to have kids with. But there's unrequited love here. There's not enough um, attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's not. You over it. Let go of control issues. You have. <laughs> you let it go. And trust. Trust and believe you ain't messing with it no more. You trusting and believing in yourself. You're setting your limits, your boundaries. And that's just what it is. So. But yeah, Libra, that's been your message, you know. you know. I know you guys know what to do with this already. So until the next time we speak, peace out.